Hey guys, this is Slyman. In today's video, we'll be talking all about beginner telescopes, and today we're going to talk about computerized telescopes like this uh, Nexstar 90 SLT Maxutov Cassegrain. So if you guys just got a Christmas gift of a new telescope or a birthday present or anything like that, or just got a new telescope and you're a little overwhelmed, we're going to go over the basics and everything that you need to go to get set up and get going. So stay tuned, we'll get started. The first step to setting up your new telescope is just to pull out your tripod here and get it nice and firm. Make sure these are not angled at all, they're all straight. Then take your accessory plate and just make sure you get it in the brackets aligned here and then just slide it until it locks into place. Then take your fork arm here, just stick it in really wherever you want till it clicks and secure it with the bottom tube here. It's really that simple. A great feature with this Nexstar SLT mount is it has a built-in bubble level. Most of these kind of telescopes, they'll come with a, a level that has to be glued on or taped onto the mount, but this one comes built in. So make sure when you're setting up your telescope that it is level. The computer that aligns the telescope assumes it's level, so if it's off, then your tracking's gonna be off. Then just slide your OTA through the dovetail. Make sure everything's lined up properly. Get the bolt on the bottom screwed in. Take your hand control. Simply plug it into the hand controller slot on the other side here. And that's all there is to it, pretty simple. What's also great about these super portable fork mounts is they usually come with a battery bay. So if something goes wrong with your field battery or your car adapter's not working or anything like that, you can just throw eight double A's in here and your telescope will run for quite a while with no hiccups or problems. So that's actually really nice too. So if you ever um, are curious about that or you didn't read your manual, there is actually a bunch of different ways to power these fork mounted telescopes. The most common mistake that amateurs make, including myself, is we forget to take the dust covers off. So make sure that you take the dust covers off, as well as the eyepiece dust covers, because if you don't, you're going to have all black image and you're not going to know what's wrong. Odds are, you just forgot to take the dust covers off. Another thing that you can do to improve the view is when you finish focusing, always focus to the counterclockwise direction. Always finish counterclockwise. If you do that, you're gonna be going against gravity and that's gonna make for a better focus. The other thing that amateurs do, myself included, is we don't align the finder scope properly. This thing is key. Even though it look, may look cheap, it really is key. So make sure you take the time to align this right. Uh, get it centered on a star, and once it's centered on a star, um, or get your telescope centered on a star, or any object randomly, you can find anything that's recognizable. Get your telescope pointed at that, then get your aligner or your uh, red dot finder aligned with that object, and then your telescope's basically aligned, your finder scope's aligned. Then anything you point to, you can align it in your finder scope, and your telescope will be right on it. That will save you so much frustration. That is key: is to just align the finder scope. So these hand controllers on any computerized telescope are pretty similar. You have Celestron, Mead, Orion, those are the main ones that make these basic go-to scopes that are really portable and awesome. Uh, so basically, uh, you put in your date, uh, time, location, all that information, and you'll get some alignment methods. And you're gonna get those on any type of telescope. So you just pick the align method you want. We'll just pretend that we're gonna do a solar system align, which isn't ideal, but we'll do that. Um, we'll pick the time, it's standard time, we'll pick the military time, uh, the date, and then we'll select Venus, and we will use the directional arrows to find Venus. And I'm just doing this generically. You center it, you press enter, then you have some more precise guiding and just hit align. And aligning is important because then it will track the sky the rest of your sessions. If you're struggling aligning your telescope, you can't get the date right or the location right or any reason, 
Um, what's nice is these telescopes do include an AU export, so you can uh, attach a GPS, a SkyQ link to get Wi-Fi, anything to help you. So there's a hand controller port and an AUX port, even on these uh, really beginner mounts, which is awesome. These mounts are really portable and just really user friendly. One thing to be careful of with a fork mounted telescope like this is if you're trying to view objects at the zenith, which you're gonna do because objects look the best when they're straight above you, you have less atmosphere to look through, you have to be careful that your telescope doesn't hit the base of your mount. If you do that, you're number one gonna ruin your alignment Number two could hurt your gears and you could also hurt your motor as well. So try to avoid looking at objects in the zenith if you're using a fork mount and you have a big telescope. But for this little Nexstar 90 SLT, it does it just fine. This is just a really awesome telescope. It's super portable, you don't have to worry about that. Just a great telescope all around. So just be careful that uh, you don't run your telescope into your mount here. The best tip of advice is just to have fun with your new telescope. Uh, the more you use it, the more experience you'll gain with it, the more familiar you'll become with your hand control, the more familiar you'll become focusing and aligning it. It will become so simple to you and so fast that uh, you'll have no problem getting out and setting up really easy. You can come out to awesome vistas like this that are beautiful, dark skies, you can see the Milky Way, and just enjoy your telescope. That's all that matters really. So if you have a frustrating time your first few times, don't give up, just keep trying to use the system, read a little bit if you have to, um, and just keep going with it. The more experience you get, the better you're gonna get. So just make sure not to give up on your telescope. There's so many people that sell theirs the next day or the day after they get their telescope just because they don't know how to use it and they're so frustrated after their first time they just give up. So don't give up. Always keep using your telescope. You will learn it and it will become really fun for you. All right guys, well thanks so much for watching. I hope this answers any questions that you may have about setting up your telescope, aligning it, or what it's capable of doing. I hope that you guys are excited to get out there and use it and use it a bunch because astronomy is awesome. And uh, if you have any questions or concerns about your telescope, please feel free to leave a comment. I'm happy to answer anything that I know the answer to. So again, thanks so much for watching and have a good one.